Sagittarius, what's going on guys? So I'm gonna pull some cards and get a message out for y'all, okay? I definitely do hope the messages resonate for you guys and I definitely do hope the messages are overall useful, okay, Sagittarius? And with that being said, we're just gonna jump right into it, okay? So for Sagittarius, right off the bat, you got the Seven of Cups, Sagittarius. You got the Fool coming out as well. You got the Four of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Five of Wands coming out in reverse. Excuse me. You got the Justice card. You also got the Six of Cups. You got the Chariot with the Four of Cups as well. You got Heavy Cancer energy. 44 could be significant. And somebody could be reaping karma. Or someone is getting karma. Or... You're being removed from a situation before. Some sort of fight breaks out or disagreement. What's this seven of cups? What's this seven of cups? Whoa. You got the ace of pentacles with the moon. Someone is seeming like they don't want you to see the beauty behind something or the gift in something as well. Like someone wants to like ruin or tarnish an the way someone sees an opportunity that is being presented to them. It could be a Cancer, a Pisces. <laughs> What's this fool? It's almost like someone saying like, hey, I got a new job, but the job is in New York. And you could be from Arkansas, right? Or I don't know, Alaska, <laughs> or we could even bring it simpler, California. And it's almost like you have someone in your energy who could be like, well, why would you want to go so far? You know, yeah, the opportunity is good. You can create a whole new life, but it's so far away from us with the nine of swords. Like somebody wants you again to put up an illusion against some sort of opportunity or chance. And hopes that it almost like make you second guess it or second guess it if it's like fitting for you or right for you. What's this fool? With the Ten of Pentacles. And it could be a family member. And whatever this chance is, it definitely has the potential to like change your life, change something. Whatever this move is. And whatever this opportunity is, it might cause you to move with the Five of Cups coming out in reverse. What's this Five of Cups in reverse? Messages for Sagittarius with the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody who is trying to, yeah, with the Nine of Swords now, so at the bottom, almost like <laughs> pretend that like you chasing after some type of like dream isn't emotionally like affecting them. Like someone is pretending like they're over something and it has something to do with you being independent or almost like finding your own work, finding your own place in the world. Like there's somebody who wanted to keep you like under their thumb or like keep you under their wing as well. What's this four of pentacles, excuse me, with the judgment? What's the four of pentacles with the judgment? Messages for Sagittarius, yeah, with the nine of wands. Like, this is somebody who knows that they would have to release you or that something is, like, good for you. Like, something, somebody's really trying to fight against an opportunity being good for you, Sagittarius. What's this five of wands in reverse? Yeah, you got the strength. And it did come out in a struggle position. What's the strength? Whoa. You got the devil. Like, this is somebody really not trying to act toxic or, like, overbearing or, like, controlling. Like, I don't know who you're around, Sagittarius, but somebody's really trying to stay calm. Like, somebody doesn't want you to make your own decisions. Like, you could be a, a full-grown adult, but there's somebody who really wants to, like, have a say-so or, you know, have an opinion, you know. It could be a Capricorn, a Leo. 
This is, yeah, someone who's like, they're trying, again, they're trying to not act as controlling as they want to be, again. Especially with the five of wands in reverse to strengthen the struggle position in the devil. What's this devil? You have the six of swords. This is somebody wanting to control where you're going in life. What opportunities you get as well. What path you go down. What's this justice card? You got the magician coming out. What's the magician? What's the magician? Yeah, you got the two of swords. This is somebody who's really trying to manipulate a certain outcome, especially with this justice. And it's so, it's so that it goes in their favor. What's this justice? With the emperor. This could be a baby's father, a father figure as well. What is this emperor? And again, this doesn't, like this person does, does it not mean you, well, with the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands with the Three of Cups, and you also have the Nine of Cups. This is somebody who wants you to stay with, I don't, Sagittarius, you have somebody who wants you to stay with them. This person can even like run a, a business as well. Like, I don't know, just somebody who will like, want you to see that they're able to like, take care of you. This person wants to keep some sort of control with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. And it's not even about a third party with the Queen of Swords. This is somebody who literally, like this is somebody who will want you to be like a stay at home dad or stay at home wife. Like the energy isn't bad. What's this emperor? Because now this person came out in reverse. And then I'd be like, okay, yeah, this person might have like some controlling issues. But you got the hierophant. You got the hierophant, the empress, the seven of swords, and you got the king of swords. What's this king of swords? Messages for Sagittarius. What's this King of Swords? You got the Knight of Pentacles. And what's this Seven of Swords? The Ace of Wands. Sagittarius, I don't know, literally with the Hermit at the bottom in reverse, I don't know if you're leaving one person and trying to get with another one, but if you are doing that, you have someone from your past who is not liking this. Is not liking this at all. And they really want to get inside of your head before you do make some sort of like, not even like a rash decision, but it's a decision that is really going to ultimately change some sort of like outcome between you and them or like really solidify some sort of like breakup or ending. What's this chariot? Especially if you go towards someone else, what's this chariot? Or that's how someone feels. Like they feel like if you go towards someone else and be with someone else, yeah, with the three of pentacles, there's not even no way, like someone knows you're not a three of pentacles type of person. Like, hmm. Like someone feels like if you'd stop messing with them and open up the door and go be with someone else, it's like, it's done between y'all. Like someone really does not want to end them to be permanent. What's this chariot with the three of pentacles in reverse? With the six of pentacles. And whoever this person is, they know you don't share your energy. Like whoever this person is, they know you were serious about something. Or they know you're serious about it now, Sagittarius. With the queen of cups. Could be a Cancer Party Scorpio, and if not, it's something to do with your love with the Queen of Pentacles as well. <laughs> like, yeah, Sagittarius, someone could have two options, whether this is you or another person, or someone is about to find a second option and someone can feel it, someone knows it, especially because someone isn't like paying attention to them anymore. What's this Ace of Wands? You got the five of swords coming out in reverse with the sun. Someone is exposed. Could be a Leo too. Like someone's deceitful ways is exposed. Like someone 
isn't trustworthy. Someone isn't honest. Someone's like a cheater as well. Like someone can't keep their thing in their pants as well. Somebody can't keep their kitty on a hush. Like someone is aware of like someone's act like antics. Someone is hip. Someone sees that someone is not loyal or trustworthy. And whoever this person is, they hate the fact that you see that with the King of Wands. Sagittarius, your energy. What's this for a cup? With the hangman? Someone feels like, yeah, now they are in the energy that they once used to have you in, waiting for them, pondering on them. With the high priestess, the knight of swords, with the four of swords, oh, with the tower. And they're shocked because this person didn't think they would kind of receive this energy. Like someone is shocked at some sort of like energy they are receiving from you. And it's the energy of like keeping them waiting. What's this high priestess? Someone is also shocked at like how well you listen to your intuition with the lover, especially when it comes to them and romantic. Like, and someone feels like you cannot be played at all. We got Gemini energy out here. Aquarius as well. Again, Pisces. With the two of cups coming out in reverse, you have to, wow, the ten of cups in reverse with the ten of swords in reverse. Ten, ten could be significant. Ten. Someone feels like there's a relationship that is no, like there's no coming back to a certain relationship. Wow, ten, ten, ten could be significant with the ten of wands. They're burdened by this. Like, someone feels like they have to release everything. Their love for you, their thoughts of you as well. What's this Two of Cups in Reverse? And it's something about, like, someone feels like you were, like, a good friend overall with the star. You are a very healing, trustworthy friend, Sagittarius. Even if you view this person as, like, a lover or is resonating more as, like, a lover, this per whoever this person is, they hate the fact that they're losing out on you as a genuine, like, as a, a, genu a general person, a human being. Like, lovers, yeah. Like, of course, yeah, that would be nice. Especially if it's resonating as a lover. Like, oh, we're going to miss, you know, oh, being tight, whatever. But this is somebody who, again, is really feeling the effect of losing a friend, a genuine friendship. Like, this is somebody who feels like there's no one like you. And they're not going to meet someone like you for a very, very long time, if at all. Because it's very, it's actually very, very sad. With the seven of wands and it's almost like this person knows it's it's their wrong like someone knows it's their fault like i don't feel like they're not acknowledging that either with the knight of wands can i get one more what's the star message for sagittarius what's the star mm. yeah you got the page of cups coming out with the death someone has to grow up <laughs> Could be a Sagittarius. I'm a Sagittarius. A Scorpio with the Ace of Cups at the bottom. What's this Page of Cups? Yeah, somebody has to grow up. Someone very flighty as well, like with the Queen of Pentacles. Could be a Capricorn towards Virgo, even. With the world. Yeah, you could have definitely closed out a cycle with a Capricorn towards Virgo, a Scorpio. An Aquarius. Yeah, with the Hermit. Could even be a Virgo. With the world is Leo. Heavy Scorpio energy. Heavy Taurus as well. Heavy Aquarius as well. What's this world? Someone feels like there is no way back in, Sage. They really do. With the Six of Wands. They, whoever this person is, they feel like you successfully got away from them. You successfully are closing out a cycle with them. Like you see, yeah. You see with the Eight of Wands in reverse. They feel like they're no longer going to hear from you either. With the King of Wands, Sagittarius, your energy back at the bottom. And I'm going to actually end it here, Sagittarius, okay? I definitely do hope the messages resonate for you guys. And I definitely do hope the messages are overall useful, Sagittarius, okay? <laughs> Until next time, bye.